Welcome to episode 7. It's always been my intention to create a, a website where we could document all the changes we've been discussing in these videos. However, there is a cost to running a website and uh, as I already have one which is intended to support the uh, uh, exhibition um, model railway that we have, an added cost couldn't really be justified. The other problem was that I'd had this website for quite some time and it was based on the Flash player format which meant it was increasingly unavailable to the explosion in popularity of mobile devices such as phones and uh, iPads etc. So that site needed to be totally revamped. So. To start one for these Land Rovers um, couldn't really be justified. So work has had to go into creating a brand new site for the funicular railway model and because of the um, aforementioned cost it seemed logical that to combine the two into the one site. So this is the route we've decided to take. A lot of work's gone into it. Uh, please bear in mind it is a work in progress and uh, we'll be adding to it all the time. I'm going to give you a walk through um, a bit later in this video of how to access the site and what you can find on it. It may change slightly in the way you enter the site etc but uh, this walkthrough will give you the basics. So we'll come to that a bit later on. But uh, I think, uh, as we've come, become customary to, we'll do the news first. The first piece of news involves the um, windscreen surround. Now, it's come to light that there are two different designs of windscreen. Um, the part we're referring to is actually the windscreen vent panel which is this arrangement here. In the early ones it's quite well defined as you can see in this one um, all the details picked out but over a period of time they have changed this design to a more simplified version. As you can see here this is the uh, second version um, which will Refer to on the website, um, the first one you saw was Type 1, so we'll refer to this as Type 2, which is a far more simplified version. They've actually reduced the uh, hinges, size of the hinges, and the detail is a lot less um, defined. So that is a change that has crept in. Um, it's, it, it's hard to pin down when this change came in. Um, at first I thought it was to do with the Oxford diecast uh, re-releases we discussed um, in previous videos but it now appears that this did crop up on certain models much earlier than that uh, it was um, a change I wasn't aware of but it's something else that um, to look out for so these changes um, you think you know it all but you don't there's um, so many different things been going on with these models which adds another depth to the uh, um, the collecting experience. The second piece of news concerns the load bed area 
on uh, the pickups with frames. As you can see in this uh, photograph, there appears to be four extra holes in the load bed area. Now, I suspect these holes were drilled to take the, uh, the long bench arrangement that uh, goes down the back on one of the pickups that doesn't feature the frames. And it would appear that they've used some of the body shells for these. Now whether this has just occurred on this one particular liveried model and it was just a batch that came out, uh, I'm not sure, I've not seen it on any of the others but uh, certainly there's quite a few of them out there. Um, I should imagine it was a short production run or uh, as I say just using up all stock but uh, nevertheless um, something else to look out for. It might be worth looking on uh, keeping an eye out on some of the other liveries of the open pickup just to get, see if uh, these have cropped up amongst them. Um, not seen any uh, evidence of this, but uh, it was quite, um, I was quite surprised when uh, I spotted these uh, on the internet for sale. At first, I thought it was just an illusion in the photograph, but uh, uh, upon uh, receiving the model, I was uh, quite pleased to find this as. Another, yet another variation on uh, uh, the themes uh, that they've been producing. A third piece of news that I uh, hadn't particularly touched on before was the rivet arrangement at the rear of the models. Now the early models, uh, i.e. the ones with the painted running gear, uh, axles and uh, exhaust etc, they featured two rivets. And these were positioned there and there at the back. Uh, this was subsequently changed to the arrangement you see in uh, this photo where it, there is a single rivet placed in the what would be the fuel tank. Again, uh, models crop up with both arrangements. There's possibly even a crossover point where uh, it uh, moved from painted uh, running gear etc uh, to the revised rivet arrangement. Not seen any evidence of it but uh, again it is quite possible there was a changeover period um, so something else to be vigilant for. I think that just about does it for the news sections so uh, we'll move on um, we'll just uh, reset everything up and uh, move on to the next bit back in a minute. Next I'd like to do a couple of shout outs the first one is to Dan from Wisconsin Thank you for your messages and I uh, hope you're continuing to find these uh, uh, videos and hopefully the website quite useful. Secondly, Jericho Cruise. Uh, I'm not sure where you're based Jericho but again thank you for uh, your message and um, I hope you are also finding these useful and in informative. Right, we'll now move on to the uh, website. Uh, we'll talk you through uh, how to access it um, and uh, we'll show you what's up there uh, to be seen. As I said at the start, it, the, it is a work in progress um, so please changes may come um, as it moves forward uh, but uh, I'll trust uh, the changes will always be for the better and you'll find it quite informative. So we'll just set up the uh, uh, laptop so uh, we can view that and uh, we'll begin. This is a new website and uh, for those of you who had us listed in your favourites, the old website URL ended in .co.uk. The new one is actually now just plainly .com so um, you would need to change it. There is a redirection in force at the moment but uh, I can't guarantee how long that will last so as I say if you want to uh, update your favourites page um, that would take you straight to the new website. The website is the Glengarry Tramway which is the uh, model of the funicular railway that we have we take to exhibitions. If you scroll down this welcome page you will arrive at a section at the bottom which takes you into the Collecting Land Rovers sub-menu. So all you need to do is 
click on the image this takes you to the uh, the welcome page you'll notice on the left here there's a menu for the um, the other section of the website this in due course will disappear it's just a matter of um, rearranging how the website works uh, I'm going to be working on that in the near future so hopefully that will disappear and you will just be left uh, purely with the Land Rover section so in this area we have the welcome under there we have some photographs um, this is just to clarify the difference between the Type A and Type B wheels and there's a photograph depicting of each type. There is also a photograph of windscreen type 1 and windscreen type 2 which just click on them and you can blow them up so that is nice and straightforward. Should any other changes we will add them to this section um, just for clarity so you can see what's happening. Right, if we scroll down a little bit further, we come to the body styles menu. Uh, eventually, all the body styles will be listed along here, um, but initially, I managed to get these few done. So, we'll just click. This takes you into the next sub menu, and this is all the different liveries. You'll notice at the top here, there's a black button that always takes you back to the previous page in this menu so that is your means of navigating so for the purposes of demonstration we'll look at the AA Land Rover just before we move there are two entries here which say entries in red are known to exist these are models that I have seen photographic or documentary evidence and I know definitely exist if the entries are in blue, these are ones that I've heard um, suggestions may exist, but I can't actually pin down uh, whether this is actually factual information. Um, in most cases, they probably do exist, but uh, until I get um, photographic evidence, or I actually get one in my hands, um, I list them as blue, um, just so that we can... Uh, highlight the fact that may or may, may not uh, be an actual model. Right, if we move down, we're going to go to the AA Land Rover. So click on that. This takes us into the AA Land Rover menu. And as you can see, photograph of the model. This is the details area. This lists the exact version it is. So in the case of the top one, um, it gives you what series it is and uh, that it's a soft top. Under there, it's the yellow AA services. Uh, the next line comes up as yellow wheel hubs with type A wheels. Underneath, we have the number plate version. Um, black interior. All the ones I've seen have black interiors up to press. Um, I've yet to see anything other than that, but we'll still list it. Then have the uh, the vent panel arrangements, and uh, in this case it's the yellow vent panel with windscreen type 1. Underneath is the exhaust details. Uh, the window arrangement comes next, and then we have what is printed on the base and the number of rivets, etc. If we go to the, any of the images, you can press on them and it will highlight a close-up photograph of the actual model concerned. And to escape, you just press the X and it brings you back to the menu. So, listed here are all the versions. Um, if there's photographs they're the ones I actually have so we definitely know they exist. This one here is th known to exist but I have not yet managed to add one to the collection. To escape this menu 
just scroll back to the top and press return and up to press we've managed to list um, all these in the uh, soft top arrangement if you wish to go to a different body style just press the return and takes us back to this page where you go into the sub menu for the pickups with frames subsequently we'll be adding um, pickups without frames um, hard tops and uh, the station wagon versions um, but as you'll appreciate uh, there is quite a lot of work involved in this and it will take some time uh, to get them all listed but I hope this will prove to be a useful resource and uh, we'll keep adding to it as time goes on uh, any comments would be appreciated if you uh, if you think um, something's confusing about it or there's something I could make easier um, please just um, add a comment at the bottom of the video all the videos posted uh, relating to the Land Rovers will have the website link uh, included underneath so that will bring you straight to this website uh, just one more thing of note if you scroll down and go to the menu at the side there's an entry marked blog this is where we post or I post um, all the things that uh, we've been up to with the uh, uh, websites and the various models that we have and uh, various other things um, this blog has the ability that you can filter which posts you see so each entry um, is listed under a, a category so if you didn't want to see all the rest of the other blogs that we post um, you could just receive the uh, Land Rover ones um, you could filter them out and uh, uh, customize it to whatever you wish um, also there's a link to our YouTube channel which comes just underneath and that takes you into our YouTube channel um, as with all YouTube channels um, we thrive on subscribers and if you like what you see please do subscribe um, it's the reason we do this um, and it's also a bit of encouragement that we're we're doing something right people are finding it of use so um, that about winds up number seven um, the next video we'll do um, I will do the um, the pickups with frames that I mentioned we were going to do in video number six. Um, I thought it was more important that we updated you and brought you up to speed on the uh, website so we've postponed those. Any other news we get we'll add that and uh, um, look forward to you guys joining us again in the next video. So until then happy collecting. From misery to happiness to